Now that you have access to the system, the first thing that you see when you log in is the dashboard. The dashboard gives you a high level overview of what's going on in the system. You have all of your due appointments without an interpreter signed yet, confirmed appointments waiting for authorization from your language service provider, and schedule appointments where an interpreter is assigned. Next, you'll be able to take a look at the scope of all completed appointments over the current week, current month, last month, and last week. Next, you'll be able to take a look at your logs. For on-site scheduling, it's in person. Pick the range, the date range that you wish to review. and apply. You may also download this to a CSV file. Next we can go into how to create an appointment. Simply go on click and create, review the appointment type, Pick the requester and put in a subject. Add a brief description about the appointment. You always need to put in two languages. In this case, it will be English to Spanish. Service delivery type is education, and you can either choose on-site consecutive or on-site simultaneous. We also have subclassifications if you find one that applies. Gender preference if needed. Then you can add in the location. Suite number. And then the date. Time. And just know that the time zone always applies to your IP address. The total duration. We also have occurrence. Daily if you need it. Weekly. Monthly. But in this case it's just for one time. We also have priority. So if it's a rush or an emergency you can also click that off as well. If you also want to add in any notes that, do, that doesn't allow the interpreter to see, but is communication between you and the LSC, you can add it in here. Please make sure interpreter addresses in comfy shoes. Finally, you can go ahead and add in the consumer's information if you need to, which is the person that requires the interpreting services. Now your appointment is created. This will send a notification to your language service provider immediately once you've created it. You'll be able to see the note that you applied to. Any activity that has happened, as you can see, you're the one that created the appointment. If you'd like to add a note to send directly to your LLC administrator, please do so as well. Please do not billing information if needed and any documentation that you need to upload to make sure that the interpreter has. Or a sign-off form, which most people use. If you need to make any edits at any time, just go ahead and click on Edit. If you need to cancel for whatever reason, you may go ahead and do so as well. And that's how you create an appointment. You may also see your appointments overview here as well. Here's for the month, the week, 
and day. If at any time you need to search for an appointment, you can go ahead and apply these filters. In the next video, we'll review invoices.